Carney, Carney then, Leinster a bit more adventurous, they just boot it up and under to Hogg, Carney is going to be landing on Hogg, Hogg. Oh! oh, and Hogg is out, Hogg is out. Bandage reflecting the injuries that the Lions have suffered in this match. Oh, it's a penalty! Why? A bit cold out there on the wing for Tom Van Dell since he came on. Hodgson, it's meant for Cueto. It could be anybody's, and you worry for Cueto. And he's lost it now with Tui Lange. He's fed up, and I don't blame him. Yeah. But Moody had to go as well. See, I, I mean, to Alangi, that is dangerous. That itself is not a red card offence. That is naive. To Alangi does that all the time. He's committed himself to the ball. He's. And Ulster need him to be in top form tonight against the threat of Vinnie Pola. In comes Alex. Good challenge by Jared Payne. What a shuddering clash that was in midair. And Alex Good does not look good straight away. Let's see just how bad it was. He was in the air when he was hit hard by Jared Payne. There's no question about that. Both feet off the ground. It's lost forward. And Fiji looked to the left through Murumuru Valley. He kicks ahead and done orthodox Nathan Levy. Sets off and that's ugly. We're just going to park it there for a moment. And it's just a friendly knock here to the left elbow seemingly of of Williamson he's hoping that Dan's okay lucky for, luckily for Ireland there Willie LaRue gave the pass oh Pat Lambie hit hard and late by CJ Stander and Pat Lambie is out cold arms outstretched in the middle of the pitch yeah he's committed in the air he does collide with him he's trying to block the ball I don't think there's He's jumping into the air and he hits him, whether it's deemed deliberate, it's definitely a penalty. I think he, what he's got to worry about is it a yellow card. Number six. Are we not, are we not judging at all? No. Omar Havertz. He's trying to try the counter with the coup de pied in the boîte. With Lucas Caneda who... But the pressure! The enorme shock! No word to make available. Penalty against England for taking Sam Warburton out in the air. Uh, that is a good kick. That takes Wales down into the English territory. See the hand there from Rob Shaw. Chris Rob Shaw. <laughs> oh, oh, oh taken up in the air. Oh, that's bad. He loses control here, Collins. Head slams into the earth. He's run straight into him. He hasn't even got off the ground, has he? Godman, the cross kick, there are numbers over there, De Luca's in pursuit, Store Tony, that was incredibly brave, Evans who's down hurt, but that is brave from the fullback, look at that. It was, he actually landed on his own man. Having an advantage, Barrett goes with the flat kick for Mahalo. Because he catches it first, Williams. It's tight, it's a contest, I actually, now that we've seen it that slow, I think it's fine that he was genuinely going for the ball, and they're both in the air. Yeah, he leaves the ground, the holo. It's fine. No problem. Not nice, though. It's pretty nasty for both players who are still down. Connor against Glasgow, one of the games that Connor lost. Oh, and the take out in the air straight from kickoff, which looked very nasty. Seeing that he's landing on his hip area. Oh, he's, he's an outstanding carrier, and you know he just bought time there. He had three or four men on him, and he was still going forward, giving his far half a full ball to kick off. North needs to be careful, and so does Tomston. And Tor Burrell comes in and makes it clear what he thinks. Can we play that one again, please? He's taken a heavy knock yeah, on the side. Right, it looks like at the down. stage. 
Okay, so I'm happy with nothing done there, if that's okay, Trev. I'm happy with that, yeah. Okay, so, so what I have is a player who's played the man... And born Ollie Kebble is off and he's replaced by Alex Allen and Kebble was going so well in that scrum that's a great take by Tommy Seymour he managed to hang on to the ball and it's a nasty collision with Malcolm Yard so we just see here yeah well yeah, some would say he's committed to that but he could also have pulled out and he maybe plays a good game of going down and holding his own head but he's looking straight at the player I wouldn't be in any way surprised if they thought that there was danger in that. Another kick off, and Falau goes high, and again. It's knocked on by Arnott, so we're going to come back. Won that kick and just gone left. So what the referees are looking at with competition in the air now is both players have to be in a realistic position to take the ball, which they both were, Israel Falau and also Peter Omani. Miss touch, got some good depth on it at least from Scotland's little, point of view. Bit... Oh, that's a superb take from Bigger, then loses in the challenge, and there will be a big decision to make here for Glenn Jackson. Jonathan's right, it's a yellow card being shown to Finn Russell. Huh? So Billy Burns, man of the match, round four, Europe against the Scarlets. Get oh, oh and a really <laughs> chopping. Tackle from Robert Balakoon. Was Let's that adrenaline from the kickoff? He can flag off the line. From my angle, Sean. And hey, completely Sean. missed this picture. Sweden him taken out in the air. He doesn't land, doesn't land that badly for me, Eddie. I don't know if you agree or disagree. Ben Youngs with the box kick. Oh, oh, Daly. You straight away. Terrible timing. He's not usually a winger, and he doesn't chase that one like a winger. He's a red card. That's solid contact. Oh, that's untidy. Time off. Time off. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Take your... So drama here then at the Liberty Stadium. Simon Taylor to his captain, Mike Blair, who sends it high. Oh, and that's a yellow card. That is a yellow card. Well, first of all, he has a look, he knows what he's doing, he's had a look. He clearly looked at the play and he's injured himself. Eight! Good, he was good there. Up it goes from Luke McGrath. Andrew Conway underneath and he came from a long, long way. We're going to have more cards here. Okay. Okay. Kick out. Oh, Anthony Watts in the air with Skelton. Um, go, look at it, his eyes on the ball all along. Watson goes down, but that's two blokes fully committed to it. I don't think the big man's even high on Anthony Watson there. Advantage here to the Ospreys. That set piece certainly worked. It's a good line out, nicely taken by Tipperick. Oh, and in the air there, and a nasty collision as well between I'm off. I'm coming back Evans and John. There. Britt with a good kick here. Well, that's drifting, but uh, then drifting back. Oh dear. Billy LaRue could be in trouble here. Yeah. The referee's not going to have much. Of yeah, it was dominated in the air, Billy LaRue, with second view in that one.